please call 440-525-7424. Be sure to watch us live on www.livestream.com slash Textbooks on reserve at Lakeland Library. Select textbooks are not available for students to check out and use in the library. Donations of current textbooks to the textbook on reserve. Programs are encouraged from instructors and students. If your textbook is not currently available in the library, please contact your instructor to provide a copy of their textbook for the Textbook on Reserve program. For more information on the library-initiated Textbook on Reserve program, please call 440-525-7424. Hey everyone, this is Officer Corey Eisenberg of the Lakeland Campus Police Department. And I am Gloria Lane from the Lakeland Women's Center. October is National Domestic Violence Awareness and Prevention Month, and we are teaming up to raise awareness. According to the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence, one in every four women will experience domestic violence in their lifetime. An estimated 1.3 million women are victims of physical assault by an intimate partner each year. Not all victims of domestic violence are women. Men make up for 15% of domestic violence cases. It is an epidemic affecting individuals in every community, regardless of age, economic status, race, religion, nationality, or educational background. Domestic violence results in physical injury, psychological trauma, and sometimes death. On Tuesday, October 20th at noon, the Lakeland Police Department, in conjunction with the Women's Center, will be hosting our monthly Coffee with the Cops session addressing domestic violence in A2101. A representative from Forbes House, Lake County's Domestic Violence Shelter, will be speaking about domestic violence and its impact. Also, on Tuesday, October 27th at 2 p.m., you can view a special screening of the award-winning documentary Telling Amy's Story, which will be followed by a panel discussion with campus and community domestic violence experts. This event will be in A2100. Additionally, we are collecting old cell phones, which Verizon will repurpose and give to victims and survivors of domestic violence. Bring your phone to the movie or drop it in a box around campus in the Women's Center, Men's Center, and other locations. Thanks and be sure to join us at both of these important events. For more information, please contact Lakeland's Police Department in person in the basement of A Building or by phone at 440-525-7221 or the Women's Center located in C1076 or by phone at 440-525-7436. Check us out at twitter.com backslash Lake Effect Radio for upcoming events, interviews, and much, much more. Library Workshop Avoiding Plagiarism, Wednesday, October 28, 2015, 12.30 to 1 p.m. In the Library Instruction Room, C30518. Is it okay to copy and paste information from a website to your research paper? Why do you need to cite your sources? Learn what plagiarism is and how to avoid it in this 30-minute free workshop. Basic Limited, register today. Go to Lakeland Student Tab, schedule it, College Success Workshops. For more information, please call 440-525-7425. Are you a single mom? If you are, there's a program called SMART, or Single Mothers Achieving Real Triumph. SMART is a support networking and scholarship program which helps single mothers achieve academic success. The requirements, you must participate and be a new student either in your first or second semester in college, have demonstrated financial need, or attend uh, colleges on Tuesdays and Thursdays, at least six credits, and you must be available to attend workshops. Students must be enrolled in English 0111 or English 1111 to participate. This is an on-campus daytime program and some of the program benefits are you can gain access to resources which are available to students that you might not otherwise know about, acquire skills to help you interact effectively with instructors and college personnel, and meet weekly for support and networking. If you're interested in this program, give a call to the Women's Center at Lakeland Community College at 440-525-7322 or email vwilliams at lakelandcc.edu. Hey y'all, this is Melanie May, and you're listening to Lake Effect Radio. Make sure you check out my fan page on Facebook, Melanie May Fan Page.
and hello everybody how's everybody's day going so far mine is about to be super crazy this week but that is okay because today marks the first day as our countdown to our halloween party on thursday Woo! who's excited i am yeah so um i will be shamelessly promoting that uh a lot during our show today so get ready um, how was your day today, Mai? My day is awesome. We were dancing to promote the donations to like Salvation Army. Oh Army, yeah, wasn't stuff it? stuff the bus. Um, Lakeland Student Government is having their stuff the bus thing today and tomorrow. Um, hopefully, okay. I'll I guess I'll promote them a little bit too. I guess I don't know. <clears throat> But apparently that's um, in the front of Atrium, in front of Breakers. And I think, hopefully, if I don't have the time incorrect, it's 10 to 1. I, I saw um, one of the LSG officers, Jared Holder, downstairs pass ones. Um, I don't know if it's 10 to 2. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not with LSG, so I, I wouldn't know how they're doing that. But apparently... From what I know, you get to donate any new um, old clothes that you don't you're not wearing anymore, or any um, like old computer stuff or something, I guess. And you can just donate it to the Salvation Army, and then whatever they have donated, they stuff like the bus outside. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't really know that. Yeah, I mean, I did it with them last year, so and that's basically how it was run. Well, now that I know that, I can bring in free clothes. Yeah, tomorrow. Donate. They're, they're going to be here tomorrow. So. They're going to have pizza tomorrow. Mm hmm. And there's mm -hmm. donut rolls, too. <laughs> donut balls or donut rolls. Actually, I think it's donut bowl balls. Donut balls. <laughs> donut balls. No, I donut think they're holes. called holes. No? Oh, holes? Donut holes? Yeah. <laughs> I am going to be a super, a super dork right now, and I'm going to literally look this up. I've never heard of donut balls. <laughs> they look like balls to me, so. Yeah, they almost look like balls or donut holes. Yeah. Yeah, they're the same thing. I don't know. But they. I think I'm going to call them donut balls from now on. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to. I think I'm with you on that. <clears throat> Honestly. Um, Yeah, they have like donut holes, Um, some pizza. They have pizza down there. That's that's important everyone they the pizza pizza that's don't you think that's that's I, like I pizza think, yeah you should make it down there i i know like i today i just i heard pizza and i just had to run for my life for exactly pizza. like guys bring clothes get pizza pizza i i i don't i'm not thinking about the clothes right now i'm thinking pizza <laughs> like pizza you have to keep in mind the good cause pizza pizza oh uh, yeah it's a good it's a good cause but um so is pizza pizza <laughs> <laughs> what's the weirdest pizza you've ever had um honestly one time um my high school choir had pizza during our eighth period rehearsal you remember this so vividly i don't know <laughs> <laughs> it's like by detail it's like my head is screwed on today um but we ordered jet's pizza and i'm a vegetarian so i can't have like pepperoni or anything so I accidentally took a slice. It looked like cheese pizza to me because I could only have cheese pizza and I, I only like cheese pizza. And I took a bite out of it and the, the pepperoni was layered underneath. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So it was just like, did you swallow it? Luckily, no. I'm your, I'm your biggest fan. Oh, uh, <laughs> hey. Mm. Um, well, thanks. We pre I, I, oh, thanks. Thank you. Uh, all right, shout out to our biggest fan, Vince Adkins, outside of Breakers, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Woo. Well, don't I feel proud. <laughs> um, let's see. So, so yeah, that was my weird experience. Uh, what, what, what do you remember? Um, well, I remember anchovies once. Oh. I didn't eat it. Good. But that's the weirdest pizza I've ever seen. Yeah, I know. I mean, I know anchovies is a type of fish, but yeah. And um, I, I, I do eat fish, but like the anchovy sounds weird as you eat fish yeah like um a i'm even though i'm a vegetarian i still eat fish so i'm considered a pescatarian so why are you a vegetarian because moral reasons or don't um, not, like it? not moral reasons it's um i mean i still secretly love meat but because i'm just such a huge animal lover and um what was my and just other like dietary reasons so 
So I have been a vegetarian for this coming May. It will be five years. Congratulations. Woo. I know. Uh, but, I mean... It's it still sucks sometimes because like I can't have like turkey at Thanksgiving or um, like meatballs and my no spaghetti. Exceptions. Yeah, no, and, like I can't do it like every once in a while. Like I just want to go straight out not having meat. Congratulations! I know five years. I know, especially secretly being a meat lover. Yeah, right. Yeah, and like I I miss I st- I still do miss the hot dogs and the hamburgers. So what but. do you put beans? Like, yeah, like vegetarian beans. I and then um the fish and then uh what else? Veggie burgers. Yeah, sometimes I eat veggie burgers, but those actually good. Yeah, um I at one point I I started out doing veggie burgers, but it just tasted really weird to me. Like it tasted like garden garden salad to me which really is like, yeah i don't know it just because my dad eats veggie burgers sometimes and he eats the morning star kinds at home like the freezer and you put it in the microwave or something or something or other and um i tried it and it just tasted weird to me like i, I couldn't i couldn't do it really that's so weird i know i thought it was weird I feel too. like that'd be like your main course right yeah you know what i heard this what? past weekend what that you can cook eggs in the microwave i didn't know that Did really you? yeah Not i guess you could really. put like a Egg in the microwave, scramble it up, come out, scrambled eggs. Really? Yeah, interesting. That is so weird. Have you ever tried the cup, the cake mug recipes? Cake mug? Yeah, like, um, there's like, um, like BuzzFeed food, does it? Uh, let's see, like, like this one, for example. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Like, I want to <laughs> try this. So. Mug cake. Yeah. So, you need a mug, and you need the butter, and then the eggs, or just egg. Then you just whisk it. You put in milk, the vanilla, the sugar, and then you mix that. Self-rising flour. And then a pinch of salt. Mm, salt in the cake. Mix it. Mix, 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 mix. The sprinkles. sprinkles. Ah! So it's like confetti cake. Oh my gosh. So it's, you literally. Yeah. You microwave for one minute. Cook times may vary. It says. <laughs> a little side note. And then you just put like frosting and more sprinkles. That is so cool. I know. I tried this one. It was like fairy bread mug cake. Um, I think it was a couple weeks ago. I tried it and it di- it didn't taste good. Like I I don't no? get it. I watched the video. I followed the instructions. I made sure I followed the ex- instructions exactly. And it just tasted so weird to me. Like I couldn't finish it, and I was just so disappointed. Was it a lot different from this one that we just watched? Yeah, it was like. I really like the one that you just showed me. Yeah. I never heard of that. That's so interesting. I know. That's the, um, that was the first one that I saw. And then that's when I realized that, um, mug cakes exist. Yum. Fairy bread mug cake. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I did the this flour. One? Yeah. The sugar. I mix it. Oil. The milk. Then the vanilla extract, then the egg. You microwave for three minutes. I made sure it was three minutes. Was it cooked? Yeah, I mean, it was rising at first a little bit, but then I was able to stop it, and then I cooked the rest, and then um, just... That didn't taste good. Yeah, I don't know why, but, I mean, it was still a little soggy at the bottom, but Mm. I figured, I mean, my mom insisted that it's... It's just different from how you actually cook it, like, in a pan in the oven. Mm-hmm. So that could be why. But it did taste good. There was one point when it when it tasted really... It, or, taste. I said it didn't taste good, but then again, I'm saying it did taste At good. At one point. <laughs> Eventually. I, I wasn't disappointed anymore, but... um, But, like, well, it, it smelled good. It smelled it, good. It did smell good, and I was like, oh, this is probably going to be a huge hit. And At then, least it appealed to one of your senses. <laughs> exactly. At least if one of them approved. So, um, so, do you have any special recipes that you keep at home? <laughs> that's a 
good question. Wow, there it, there are Bisquick chocolate chip cookies I like to make. Bisquick? Yeah, it, you've heard the mix Bisquick, right? Mm-hmm. Pancake mix? Yeah, yeah. Do you, you use can, that exact mix? Mm-hmm, you can make it with pancakes, you can make it with, like, biscuits, um, you can make... I don't know, you can make it out of anything. And Waffles, you, can, you can make all that. Yeah, you can make it with chocolate chip cookies. And that sounds interesting. I know. I made a warm salad at one of my Thanksgiving dinners once from Southern Li- Southern ugh, Southern Living Cookbooks. A warm salad? Yeah. Or no, it wasn't from Southern Living. It was from the special Christmas cookbook that Was it my, good? Um, I didn't have it, but my family said that it was that it was Why a didn't huge you eat hit. It? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't think I would like it. You couldn't try it when you took all the time to make it. I know. I, well, I think there was, like, bacon and stuff I put in it, too, so oh. that's probably why. I got a really awesome banana bread recipe this weekend. Really? Yeah, I guess you use, like, gross bananas that you're just going to throw out anyways, throw mm-hmm. them in there, some flour. Yeah. I put too much baking powder in there, though. It got really hard, but uh, it tasted good. Yeah. Yeah, I actually had another cook fail not too long ago. Like, um... I made these like um, cookies or something, and I guess I was trying something with them, but I ended up putting too much salt in. Like I put <laughs> tablespoons of salt instead of teaspoons of salt, and it just tasted so nasty. Salty cookies, uh-huh. <laughs> best of both worlds. Yeah, more like diabetes. Ew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh well. We have to be careful with these things. I know. Like I, I, how did I not read that right? I don't know. But like, I switched the two measurements. Don't you hate when you're trying to make... Does this ever happen to you? Like, every time I try to make a decorative cupcake or cake, it always just turns out looking like something slopped together. Yeah. I don't know. I'm really bad at that. Yeah. Like, I wanted to make those Halloween cupcakes with, like, worms and stuff, but... Right, Didn't right. work out. Oh, well. Try again next year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Well. I think we're going to take a little music break. I don't know about you. But uh, yeah, we shall return. Um, hopefully, we'll have more recipes to share. Died last night in my dreams, walking the streets of some old ghost town. I tried to believe. God and James Dean, but Hollywood sold out. Saw all of the saints lock up the gates I could not enter. Walked into the flames, called out your name, but there was no answer. And now I know my heart is a ghost town. is a ghost town.
like me. I 
work harder Take you off the bench, t- turn you to a starter Then I take you home and put you on a charger Then, then my car transforms to a charter And we can fly to wherever you ever thought of <laughs> I take you to where it's warm up Then I gotta rip off your dress like a warm up <laughs> But I'm just getting warmed up So tell your man he better get his boat torn up I transform her to a Ducati Then I transform me to a Bugatti Cause her form puts me in a trance I transform smaller and she puts me in her pants Switch, switch on the beat Chris, move your feet And we the transform a good girl to a freak I can transform, I can, I can transform you Anything you want, I can, I can get it for you Get my baby girl, so you know I get it for you No, 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 no. So, yeah, we um, shared a little bit of a rap battle just now. Not of a battle, but, like, I can... um, Yeah, it was uh, fun times. I was just rapping to Nicki Minaj's version of um, Monster by um, Kanye West. Didn't miss a beat. I know. I mean, the only one part is um, the Daddy DD1 or something like that. I I can't remember. I, I don't even know what the words are, but... You don't know what the words are. No, like, I don't know how to pronounce it. Did that take you a while to learn? A little bit, yeah. I mean, I I was, I've been listening to my sister's old iPod, and she has all of her old songs still on there. And I ran, and I ran into, the, like, the artist names, and I was listening to some of, um, a few Kanye West songs she has. And one of the songs was Monster, and then I just, I, um, started listening listening to it and I thought it was such a good song and then I've I've been listening to Nicki Minaj's um rap rap verse and I would look at the more I would listen to it the more I would keep have all like remember all the words and then I just are you a huge Nicki fan a little bit yeah I mean she's pretty cool are you yeah she's nice (laughs) (laughs) did you see um the VMA thing this year oh like what, what was it uh, it was this year at the VMAs um, when um, she, I don't know, she like called put, out Miley. What did she yeah, say? Yeah, she, I, I don't know. She was like getting pissed because um, Miley was saying something about her to the press, and then she got like was wanting to pick a fight but with her. But then you never know if it's all staged. Yeah, I don't know. Who knows? I, I don't know. That's just what I saw or even heard about. <laughs> you didn't see it? No, I, I couldn't see it because it, I. I know, it was like on a Sunday and I had to get ready for class the next you day. You remember so. every detail. I'm so amazed by this. <laughs> well, no. I it heard was on about a Sunday. And well, yeah, but I it was going viral, oh, too. Yeah. Everything that happened went viral. I've been hearing people make statuses about it on Facebook and just, it was interesting. And then my aunt recorded it for me on her on DVR um, flat screen TV because she has on demand. So she recorded it for me when it was Did you get to watch air. it? Mm-hmm. It was good. Let's see. Uh, Do you find your hotline? Tony Matterhorn. Okay. Tony Matterhorn. Okay, that's that's the only part I had trouble with. Those, the lyrics. Oh, you didn't yeah, know that, the name, just, did you? Just that line. Like I, I've um, I tried looking it up and then like, learning how to say it, and Give I it figured. A try. It, yeah. Let's hear it. <laughs> um, t- Tony Matterhorn duty wine it. Like that's the only. That's. I mean, I know the wine it. Wh- oh, Wylan. I didn't know those two were different. No, that's the only part I mess up on. It's like, I, I, I it's hard, because the beat is so fast, it's hard to pronounce in such a fast beat, so. Isn't that crazy, like the whole song, you get one rit- part. Get the rhythm of the whole song. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of shocked at it, too. Um, but yeah, that's, that's like the only thing I know by heart. Oh, um, I also, okay, so when we had the recruitment blitz last week, um, I had, um, 
Jared, he was playing his music on his phone and like his iPad and he had these like sp- special speakers that can that are wireless and they can reach out. You could take it anywhere with you like 30 feet away from the iPad cuz really? he has like Spotify. And um uh Yeah, one of the songs we played was Eiffel 65 um Blue. You know that 90s I don't pick? think so. I don't I think I've heard I it. I will have to play it real quick. One second. Eiffel, yeah. Blue. Mm-hmm. You know, you would know this song if you're from the 80s. Or 80s? What the heck? I'm not. The late 90s. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm not either. Yo, listen up. Here's the story about a little guy that lives in a blue world. And all day and all night and everything he sees is just blue like him inside and outside blew his house with a blue little window and a blue corvette and everything is blue for him and himself and everybody around cause he ain't got nobody to listen to listen to listen i'm blue i've been need i've been died i've been
Yeah, so what we were just talking about off air, um, if you guys are curious, we were talking about how I have been planning to make my own album. Um, and it will be my the, an album that's just all covers. Like, I've already have an idea, like, what songs I want to cover for, the songs that I feel like I could do good at. Um, Looking for a guitarist, piano? Yeah, I'm, and I'm, I've talked with Jeremiah about this, but, like, I'm, because of all the people that we've interviewed, like, the, um, we've had people on air for, for interviews, um, from all local bands and local artists, I, I need somebody who's good at playing piano, I need somebody with guitar, I need somebody with drums, I need probably with a tambourine, maybe, I don't know. If you play an instrument, just let her know, maybe she could work it in there. Yeah, yeah, like, I, I do have to make a point to reach out and, like, actually plan for this. I was going to do this over the summer, but it just... Because it never happened because a lot of bands are busy with doing um, gigs, like summer gigs, and going on, like, tour. And all so that. do you want to make your own band? I'm um, not a band, necessarily. I'm more, like, into just starting out as a solo artist. And you're just looking for additional help? Yeah, because... Um, so... That and sounds cool. What are, what are the songs, like, you want to do? What are some of them? Um, I know one is Frank Sinatra. Because um, sometimes I am in a little bit of jazz. Um, there's some David Guetta songs. Uh, there's one that's Ariana Grande. Which one? Um, Best Mistake. And I already have this one rapper guy who we actually had an interview, who's been here, uh, Chris Black. No? <laughs> no. That's okay. Um, he also went to my high school. Really? Yeah. Are you going to work with him with it? Um, yeah, I, I already texted him, emailed him about it, and said, let me know when we, we want to work on it. You know, um, But I haven't been able to reach out to him uh, in a while because I've, I'm waiting for something to happen. Don't wait. you got to chase. <laughs> I know. I know. I, I, it's, and it's, it's hard because I'm busy with work. I'm busy with school. And it's just like I got to get all that out of the way first. I'm wondering if I should, like, uh, if I should shoot to work on this, like, during Christmas break. Why not? Yeah. And I'm There's no better time than now. Or Thanksgiving, you know, Thanksgiving break, you know. And one song I'm thinking of having on here I actually wrote in high school. Ooh. I was going to do for a talent show my junior year with this one other guy who um, was in my drama club. He's super talented. And he was originally going to help me with it, but, and we were, but... We were going to try and, like, practice after school and, uh... Couldn't get it together. Yeah. Did you do the talent show? Yeah, I did. I ended up just doing, uh, cover on, um, the karaoke version of For Good from the Broadway musical Wicked. How'd it go? It went good. I've it's, always wanted to do a talent show. Yeah, it was... sign up and then I'm just like, oh, I can't. Uh, there's <laughs> tryouts that are involved. Really? So, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised I even got through it. Oh, stop. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You're probably amazing. I mean, I was. I, I got a lot of good compliments about it, but I was... It's... Shaky. Yeah, and junior year was one of my awkward years, so... <laughs> senior year was good? Came out? Yeah, senior year was a little better. Yourself. Senior year was a little better. Um, One song by Cindy Lauper. Song... Um, that I I have the key that I want to do in the key of C then D flat somewhere only we know by not one band I can't remember. It's like I want to co oh. only we know oh Keen if I am I, if I'm pronouncing that right yeah, key E A N E is that Keen that is that how you say yeah it? I Keen? think that's Keen Keen okay key E A N E yeah let's assume it's Keen. <laughs> um, Latch by Sam Smith and Best for Last by Adele. So have you done like all the talent shows? Like, were you always like trying to get into those talent shows? No, oh, you only did one? Not really. Um, yeah, I never got into being a part of the talent show. There was this one time. It was like I was on this talent show, and then we had to order costumes. It was like a glow stick dance. I don't know if you've ever seen that stuff. Uh, not really. Like you like it, it's all dark, and then you start yeah. like dancing and just looks cool whatever you do really but then of course like the Lil Wayne concert was on the same day <laughs> oh, <laughs> so it, what yeah it's so cool hold on hold up hold up I think everybody's gotta see this hold on hold on Thank <laughs> you. 
was interesting (laughs) yeah that was a glow stick dance that we just watched pretty original i like the music i know it was pretty good it's perfect something you would hear at a a dance a dance um party it's like a perfect perfect talent show yeah like um yeah it's like a perfect mashup um well quick i i know i mentioned earlier that i wanted to promote for the halloween party um if you haven't heard already the halloween party is thursday um october 29th and it'll be in the y building in the may gym and we have our kids party which is 6 to 8 p.m and then the adult slash student party is from 9 to 11 um there will be pizza and drinks um there will be a live dj and a bunch of inflatables like an obstacle course a jousting and a giant red slide um and it'll be tons of fun tons of fun and games and you can bring your friends it's open to the community and it's free admission um so yeah we want to see you there it'll be a lot of fun there will be lots of people do you still need volunteers yes um we still need a little bit of volunteers we are at a good start with um the number of people that have already said they'll volunteer we've had people from around other clubs around here so but we could use a few more people. So if you guys want to come help us out um, at the Halloween party, that um, uh, we do have our sign-up sheet still posted on our door, our office door by Campus Activities Board, a.k.a. CAB. S224 is our office number. It's right on the second floor of Breakers. If you go up the staircases and you go across and... Those, those two double doors that says student engagement and leadership at the top. If you keep going straight, our office, there'll be two doors. Our door is to the right, which will say Campus Activities Board on the side. And we are next to Lakeland Student Government, which is on the left. So, yeah, um, I'll keep talking about the Halloween party throughout the week. Um, but and So, I'm sorry if I annoy everybody about it, but it's, you know, this is big. I want to got to get the word out, so... Um, so we'll hope to see you there. It's the 29th, once again, 6 to 8 and 9 to 11. Do you have any other questions? Nope. I think you got it covered. Cool beans. All right. Well, that is, I think that concludes our show for today, everyone. Um, once again, this is Party with C, C and M. Mm. Oh my gosh. That was so close. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Party with C and M. Um, Madi, you guys have anything to say, everyone? Nope. Can't wait to see you at the Halloween party. Maddie's going to be there, you guys. <laughs> All right. So um, we'll see you guys again Wednesday. And until we meet again, adios. What do you mean?
what I'm saying Trying to catch the beat, make up your heart Don't know if you're happy or complaining Don't want for us to win, where do I start? First you wanna go to the light 